Getting back to the ZY plate, we will add the Y-axis motor mount and motor. Add three nuts onto the three screws that will be used to fasten the motor mount. Add two bearings that will serve as an idler. These bearings are one quarter inch inside diameter. Add another nut on the back end of the bearings to fasten the bearings in place. Take the motor and motor mount for the Y-axis and slide it onto the screws for the motor mount. The screw holes are drilled with a quarter inch drill or a quarter inch end mill, so it may be difficult to get it on there at first. Try to keep it as parallel as possible to the ZY plate. Add three more nuts to these screws to fasten the motor and the motor mount in place. Reposition the spacing nut so it's snug against the body of the motor mount. Consider using a proper wrench for tightening the, the nuts so the assembly is secure. Now the timing belt will need to be routed around the pulley and the idler bearings. From this point of view, the timing belt will need to be routed under and over the bearing and then under and over the timing pulley, as shown in the video. Prior to this, make sure that the timing pulley is aligned with the, the idler bearings. The timing belt will need to be fastened at each end using this metal, metal bracket and number 8 screws. If this is the kit version, you'll need, you'll need washers since the holes are quarter inch. Begin the fastening of this, this small assembly with nuts. Do not tighten since the, the timing belt will need to be routed between the bracket and the upper structural side. If this is the high side where the timing belt is looped over the pulley, then it will need to be looped over the wood in, as shown in this part of the video. The bracket can now be tightened against the wood so there's a strong hold on the timing belt. This side is where the timing belt routes underneath the idler bearings and will also go underneath the wood section that you see in the video. It is best to work with the Z-axis assembly close to the end where you're working to determine proper alignment of the timing belt and the position where it should be located on the between the wood and the bracket. Install the bracket, two screws, washers, and nuts as was done on the other side. It is critical to bring this as taut as possible so that you have as little backlash as possible. Once alignment is established, move the Z-axis assembly farther away from this position so so more tension can be brought into the timing belt. Routing the x-axis timing belt is a little bit more difficult. It's best to do this without the table installed. And you're going to route the timing belt under the pulley and over the bearings. And on the top it should be on one level. Binder clips or some kind of clamp is helpful to keep the timing belt in place while this routing happens. Reinstall the table so that the timing belt can be attached to the ends of the table. The method of attachment is quite crude but works well. We'll use a number 8 screw with a washer, two types of washers on one side, the same two types of washers on the other side, and a nut, and the timing belt will be routed around both washers. Do do this to both ends, bringing the timing belt taut.